Hello everybody, it is now the next day. The sun, there's, well I've got a break, one in trucks and two, it's light enough. We started at five, so it was dark. So now I can make a video. We've already, this will be the sixth, the sixth load we've hauled today already. It's almost seven. I need to move two and a half to three loads an hour to not be here all night as well. So, uh, oh, there goes my truck. He just missed, he just missed the turn. So this hay, I'll show you something. Because of the rain we had two weeks ago, it's only been two weeks, there's a squeeze, got a little old because after the rain we couldn't do anything. These are little seed pods. Because it got old, because it got old, we weren't able to cut it on time like we wanted to. So, um, it's full of seed pods now, which doesn't necessarily hurt the quality, but we don't, we don't like it that much. It can lead to the hay being kind of tough and not as soft, but um, this hay still went up nice. The color's just a hair off because the humidity, the storm coming in, it's super humid but it's very leafy. Ow, something just poked me. If the color wasn't a hair off and it didn't have the seed pods, this would be a solid number one. But because of the color and the seed pods, which lead to the toughness, I'm gonna call this number two, which feed stores will be happy to get it. Customers will be happy to get it. Everyone will be happy to get it. It's fine, it's small, fine stemmed and leafy. It's just the color. And some of you might be thinking the color is not that bad, Trevor. It's really not, but we've just, we've kind of created a standard for ourselves. We need to keep to it. Uh, we want to be we want to stay very consistent, so our customers know what they're getting every time when they say they want number one or number two or premium. They know they're going to get what they're going to get every time. Well, got a hold of the truck. He's said he passed the road which we all know he did so he's coming back we got like 20 something more loads to do after this that's what we know of they were still bailing yesterday when we estimated 30 so there could be 35 and they bailed today there could be 50 no just kidding there's probably i bet we don't do over 40 over 30 but under 40. <laughs> Well, looks like we're gonna break my old record, our old record of 32 loads in a day. That's the sun going down. Oh, I think we're gonna get 42. 
ending with some really, really nice premium grade alfalfa. I'll show you. Very small stem, beautiful green, very leafy, some grass. Not the kind you smoke, you silly guys. Some are gonna say it's too green. No, it's not. That's new. Look at that, oh wow. Yummy. Couple brown re-rake sticks, but that's fine. Oh, that's a weed. Oh, I love seeing that kind of hay. We haven't seen a lot of it this year. Been a long day, you guys. I'm tired. Two more loads. Unfortunately, I think I got to help Leonard stack a bunch of hay we moved. The trucks were going so quickly, he wasn't able to stack it in the barn. So as long as it's covered, I'm all right, though. I'm happy. Well, we are done. Finally, it's 8.30, 42 loads. Time to go home, ready for bed. There's Leonard just pulling in. We didn't get everything put away. We got everything hauled in out of the field, but there's still some hay stacked up in the um, outside the barn, so we can't see. The lights work pretty okay, but just dusty. Been out here since 4.30. I think 4.30. Anyways, it's time to go home. So, let's see how things look tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you guys.